On January the 5th, Steve Bannon gloated that all hell was going to break loose the next day. Now, in a stunning turnaround, the diehard Trump ally and political operative is offering to testify to the January 6th committee. And he wants to do it, he says, on live TV. Bannon making the surprise offer as he prepares to go on trial for contempt of Congress and refusing to cooperate with this committee's subpoena. The Justice Department calling Bannon's offer to testify a last-ditch attempt to avoid accountability and to change the optics ahead of his criminal trial. It's not happening. Today, a federal judge rejected Bannon's request to delay that trial. It's scheduled to begin next Monday. The January 6th committee says Bannon had substantial advance knowledge about what was going to happen at the Capitol and that he played an important role in formulating those plans. Here's what Bannon said in his podcast on the eve of the insurrection. All hell is going to break loose tomorrow. Just understand this. All hell is going to break loose tomorrow. And of course it did. Bannon has insisted he could not testify to the committee because former President Trump had invoked executive privilege. But that apparently did not happen at all. According to the Justice Department, former President Trump's lawyer told the FBI that Mr. Trump never invoked executive privilege for Steve Bannon, who left the White House years before the Capitol riot. But Bannon's lawyer is doubling down on that defense. He says Bannon recently received a letter from Mr. Trump waiving executive privilege and giving him the green light to testify. Great irony that uh, Bannon uh, had privilege invoked by the former president. He believed that that was valid. Um, and uh, I think the letter from former President Trump now makes that quite clear that he did invoke it and believe it was valid. But the Justice Department says he didn't. Bannon's lawyer says he does not know if Bannon will actually testify to the committee before his trial begins. All of this comes as the committee prepares to hold what could be its second to last public hearing tomorrow with a focus on alleged ties between Trump associates and the right-wing extremist groups accused of seditious conspiracy. We'll have expert legal analysis from former federal prosecutor Renato Mariotti, first live to CNBC senior congressional correspondent Elon Moy. Elon. Well, Chef, today the committee said that it is still interested in what Steve Bannon knows, but it has no update on engagement with witnesses. Well, Bannon's attorney said he is willing and, in fact, prefers to testify publicly. But committee member Zoe Lofgren said that's unlikely, given that depositions can last for hours. Now, the committee originally subpoenaed Bannon to give details on what he told President Trump on December 30th, the meeting he attended on blocking the count at the Willard Hotel on January 5th, and, of course, why he said on his podcast that all hell is going to break loose on January the 6th. Now, tomorrow's hearing will try to connect some of those dots. The committee's goal is to show that Trump became desperate in the weeks leading up to that day, and this tweet on December 19th was a pivotal moment. Big protests in D.C. on January 6th, he wrote, be there, will be wild. The committee says that's when far-right groups such as the Oath Keepers, the Proud Boys, and QAnon began zeroing in on that date as the final opportunity to defend Trump's presidency. Now, there will be at least one live witness, a former spokesperson for the Oath Keepers. The committee would not say if there might be others or, if so, who they are because of safety concerns. The committee hopes to prove that President Trump summoned that violent mob, and new footage from the documentary Unprecedented shows that, at the very least, Trump was sympathetic. I will tell you, they were uh, angry from the standpoint of what happened in the election, uh, because they're smart, and they see, and they saw what happened. And I believe that that was a big part of what happened on January 6th. Now, the committee had originally planned a second hearing this week, but that's now pushed back until next week. And, Chef, the only explanation the committee gave to reporters is that it's receiving new and important information daily. Elon Moy, thanks very much.